have watched the TV show, The Jetsons. If you could bring your great grandparents to the future, or at least the present, what do you think they will most likely be surprised about? Hello world, my name is Aiden, a sixth grade student from St. Armand's World Academy, and I'm here today to present about one particular topic. And that is, of course, why robotics should be a central foundation for all school curriculums. My very first point, creativity is built through robotics. Before going on to that point, I'd like to ask and see a show of hands who here love open-ended questions. Quite a few hands. Well, I'm among those who hate open-ended questions. At least before I really knew what robotics taught me. Most people refer open-ended questions as questions where you give your response, key points, which is supposed to match the answer key. I too have considered open-ended questions like this. But robotics has taught me that open-ended questions are questions and responses which you give with no black or white answer. You can do it in your own creative way, your own idea. And giving your own idea in billions of ways, that is what develops creativity. That is what makes creativity and innovation grow in people's lives. I even myself have an example to this. Common STEM activi activity that you normally see is building the tallest yet strongest tower. On my right is a normal idea. I'm not saying that this idea is wrong. I'm just saying that this idea is very common. And the difference between my left and my right is that my left has a creative idea, their own idea. They have understood that they can do anything in their own way. And so, even uh, not only that STEM activity can teach um, everything about open-ended questions, I myself has learned this. So here my task was to build an automatic tank system so that the water level in the tank would not overflow. And here is my system in action. So it detects that the water level in the tank is empty it uses the pumps and pumps water into the tank. They, can, they also detect the water level using an ultrasonic, ultrasonic sensor. And here is when, it, when the pump eventually works. And it stops. And so this idea has gradually taught me that instead of checking the water level in a tank manually using human forms of hands and themselves going there, I did it automatically. I realized that efficiency would work through creativity like this. I would do it automatically, my own way. That is how creativity is built and developed. What do you see in, this, in these three men? Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, and Steve Jobs. What do they all have in common? What they have in common is one idea that is game changer. They all have creative ideas. They're creative entrepreneurs, creative engineers. They knew that the fact that they could do it their own way which has made them successful people to this day. And these people have proven that what even Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Albert Einstein admitted this himself, and people around the world are examples for you to see. My second point, linking the people, future, and technology. How many people, are, um, in this auditorium, considers yourself gap tech. I'd like to see a show of hands. Quite a few. Um, well, to this day, there are many problems that could have been solved by everyday people through everyday solutions. For example, 
take a posture recognition system. Many people to this day have back pain. Even I myself, young myself, um, I still experience it to this day. Well, this system hasn't been made yet. That's because people hasn't understood how important technology is. Or rather they avoid technology. But that's a mistake. You shouldn't avoid technology. You should face it, confront it, and understand its essence and importance to the future, and even to this day. Think of how it will affect your lives and impact your lives greatly, even to the future. Robotics will come to affect us in almost any and virtually any way. And so, I, I understood the fact that robotics could help me and other people to learn and to understand how robotics empowers people to confront technology and think of new ideas. I just started off with a simple system, with making Lego cars, small Lego cars, moving on to different competitions in robotics, as you can see over here. And I went to different competitions, I went to different forms of robotics, and even went to um, different programming languages. Most of you might wonder, why would he give and waste his time just for robotics, just for technology? But think of how it will impact your lives in the future. Think of how great it will be and how important it will be to the future. You will eventually understand through robotics. You will understand how important and the great essence of robotics that is going to affect our lives in any way in the future. A third and very final point, how robotics helps and develops cross-cultural skills. You all can call anyone in WhatsApp, couldn't you? Now, would you have the courage or would you dare to pluck up the courage to call any random person in the world? I'm sure most of you wouldn't. Now, there's a reason to this. There's still separations between human beings and nations, different cultures. But robotics can help fix this bond. It can make connections with other people. Yes, sure. We may have interacted with different people around the world. But have we truly made a bond? And could we call anyone around the world without any embarrassment inside our hearts? I'm sure that we haven't to that point. But what I am sure of is that robotics can help us as humanity go together. I remember a time when I was in Macquarie University in Sydney where we had a competition and we, we played with a Taiwanese team chess to almost past midnight. We formed bonds, we shared our ideas. We gave each other different kinds of ideas and of course we interacted with each other. Most importantly, we made bonds with them. Robotics will help us, those in the future, to come bring nations and different cultures back together. There will, no more, there will be no such thing as big separations between us. And I'd like to end my speech by saying that robotics will be a major part of all school curriculums and that robotics will not be transformed, but it will be revolutionized. Thank you.